Hi everyone, today we'll be discussing about ring opening in epoxides. Epoxides are cyclic ethers. They are more reactive than simple ethers. The reason being uh, due to ring strain. Now rings can open under different conditions. For example, they can open if uh, nucleophiles like Grignard reagent attack them. They can also open under acidic and basic medium. Now many questions are asked uh, where ring opening takes place in both of these medium. Now what is important for you uh, is to know the kind of product which is formed in both of these uh, medium because the mechanism followed is different. In acid medium, mechanism similar to SN1 is followed uh, due to the formation of a carbocation like character uh, in the transition state. Whereas in basic medium, uh, a mechanism very similar to SN2 or more or less you can say SN2 itself uh, is uh, carried out. Both of these uh, mechanism involve um, inver inversion of configuration of the final product. Now one simple way to remember uh, what happens in acid and basic medium. Now in the uh, alphabetical order A comes before B. Similarly in the numerical order 1 comes before 2. So you associate A with 1 and B with 2. Okay, that's an easy way to remember and to predict the product uh, in both of these medium. Now let's take an example as to what happens uh, in uh, acid medium. Uh, for this I'll be taking the example of uh, this particular ether. So I'll be taking this uh, epoxide. Now the first step in this process uh, is a fast step that is attack of H plus that comes from the acid medium. As you can see the oxygen is the electron rich center so the oxygen is the one which will attract the H plus towards itself. Giving us an oxonium. Now in the acid medium the oxonium which is also called uh, the conjugate acid of the epoxide is the one that participates in the reaction. You will also notice that um, in most of the mechanisms uh, each step is reversible something which I have not uh, drawn over here but it's up to you. Uh, ultimately the product that you get will be the same. The second step is a slow step and this is the rate determining step. This is where the nucleophile that is water attacks the molecule. Now since this is an SN1 type of an attack, water will attack the molecule from the more hindered side and therefore this bond is going to break. Now I'll get a product which will appear like this. So it is water uh, that takes up the positive charge. Finally, the last step, again attack of water. This is a fast step and uh, the aim of uh, this step is to just uh, deprotonate the molecule. So this step is also known as deprotonation. And uh, ultimately, uh, this is how my product uh, appears like. So I have uh, a vicinal diol which is produced and there will be inversion of configuration. Okay, this is what happens in acid medium. Let's look at what happens in the basic medium. Now as we just discussed in the basic medium, uh, the mechanism that is followed is very similar to SN2. Now in this case, I'll be taking the same molecule, I'll, I'll be starting with the same epoxide. Uh, but the attacking species that I take will be an anionic nucleophile. So in this case, uh, I'll start with uh, cyanide. So the first step is uh, the attack of the cyanide itself. Now since this is an SN2 type of an attack, the attack of cyanide will happen from the less hindered side, which means that this is how the bond breaking takes place. So this is the first product that we are going to get. In this case, we have formed a salt like structure of the epoxide. Finally, water from the solvent will protonate this oxygen.
and I'm going to get a product which looks like this. It's a molecule which has both cyanide as well as alcohol groups. Okay. So just remember important point in acid medium SN1 type of reaction and in basic medium SN2 type of a reaction. In a nutshell I can say that in basic medium attack happens from the less hindered side that is SN2 type and in acid medium attack happens from the more hindered side. In both the cases inversion occurs. Thanks for watching guys. Happy learning.